love is composed of a single soul inhabiting two bodies. Anyone can become angry. That is easy. But to be angry with the right person, to the right degree, at the right time, for the right purpose, and in the right way, this is not easy. Democracy arose from men's thinking that if they are equal in any respect, they are equal absolutely. Equality consists in the same treatment of similar persons. First, have a definite, clear, practical idea, a goal, an objective. Second, have the necessary means to achieve your ends. Wisdom, money, materials, and methods. Third, adjust all your means to that end. Happiness depends upon ourselves. I count him braver who overcomes his desires than him who conquers his enemies, for the hardest victory is over self. It is easy to perform a good action, but not easy to acquire a settled habit of performing such actions. It is well to be up before daybreak, for such habits contribute to health, wealth, and wisdom. Man is a goal-seeking animal. His life only has meaning if he is reaching out and striving for his goals. My best friend is the man who in wishing me well wishes it for my sake. No great genius has ever existed without some touch of madness. Poetry is finer and more philosophical than history, for poetry expresses the universal, and history only the particular. One thing alone not even God can do, to make undone whatever has been done. The beauty of the soul shines out when a man bears with composure one heavy mischance after another. Not because he does not feel them, but because he is a man of high and heroic temper. The energy of the mind is the essence of life. The least initial deviation from the truth is multiplied later a thousandfold. The secret to humor is surprise. The worst form of inequity is to try to make unequal things equal. This is the reason why mothers are more devoted to their children than fathers. It is that they suffer more in giving them birth and are more certain that they are their own. To write well, express yourself like common people, but think like a wise man, or think as wise men do but speak as the common people do.
all human actions have one or more of these seven causes chance nature compulsions habit reason passion and desire at his best man is the noblest of all animals separated from law and justice he is the worst Dignity does not consist in possessing honors, but in deserving them. Friendship is essentially a partnership. Happiness is activity. If happiness is activity in accordance with excellence, it is reasonable that it should be in accordance with the highest excellence. It is the mark of an educated mind to be able to entertain a thought without accepting it. It was through the feeling of wonder that men now and at first began to philosophize. Memory is the scribe of the soul. Nature does nothing uselessly. Plato is dear to me, but dearer still is truth. Poverty is the parent of revolution and crime. The beginning of reform is not so much to equalize property as to train the noble sort of natures not to desire more and to prevent the lower from getting more. The ideal man bears the accidents of life with dignity and grace, making the best of circumstances. The soul never thinks without a picture. Hope is the dream of a waking man. Those who educate children well are more to be honored than they who produce them, for these only gave them life, those the art of living well. We are what we repeatedly do. Excellence, then, is not an act, but a habit. What lies in our power to do, lies in our power not to do. All who have meditated on the art of governing humankind have been convinced that the fate of empires depends upon the education of youth. Character is that which reveals moral purpose, exposing the class of things a man chooses or avoids. Education is the best provision for old age. Excellence is an art won by training and habituation. We do not act right because we have virtue or excellence, but rather we have those because we have acted right. We are what we repeatedly do. In poverty and other misfortunes of life, true friends are a sure refuge. The young they keep out of mischief. To the old they are a comfort 
and aid in their weakness. And those in the prime of life, they incite to noble deeds. It is the mark of an instructed mind to rest satisfied with the degree of precision which the nature of the subject admits and not to seek exactness when only an approximation of the truth is possible. We become just by doing. We become patient with patient deeds and brave with brave deeds. Nor was civil society founded merely to preserve the lives of its members, but that they might live well. For otherwise, a state might be composed of slaves or the animal creation. Nor is it an alliance mutually to defend each other from injuries or for commercial intercourse. Pleasure in the job puts perfection in the work. The aim of the wise is not to secure pleasure, but to avoid pain. The educated differ from the uneducated as much as the living from the dead. The law is reason, free from passion. The wise man does not expose himself needlessly to danger, since there are few things for which he cares sufficiently. But he is willing, in great crisis, to give even his life, knowing that under certain conditions it is not worthwhile to live. Young people have exalted notions because they have not been humbled by life or learned its necessary limitations. Moreover, their hopeful disposition makes them think themselves equal to great things, and that means having exalted notions. They would always rather do noble deeds than useful ones. Their lives are regulated more by feeling than by reasoning. All their mistakes are in the direction of doing things excessively and vehemently. They overdo everything. They love too much, hate too much, and the same with everything else. What is a friend? A single soul dwelling in two bodies. We give up leisure in order that we may have leisure, just as we go to war in order that we may have peace. The wicked obey from fear, the good from love. Wishing to be friends is quick work, but true friendship is a slow, ripening fruit. <laughs>